We saw in the previous verse that uh, we are talking about the omnipresence of the law of the reality that the infinite consciousness is identical with the individual consciousness uh, and we were contemplating on that through and that is what he was uh, our shankaracharya was explaining and and therefore once one comes to know that individual consciousness is the infinite one even intellectually thereafter the person the seeker will not try to protect himself from anything for anything uh, the uh, he will become uh, nirbhay and uh, okay. and in this way he comes to know the uh, the the advait the non dual reality as i am and uh, and uh, the, the resultant is that he is everywhere he is in omnipresent uh, he is not somewhere and he is somewhere it's not like that he is everywhere and in this way uh, he does not become someone he is that's it full stop uh, and uh, and wherever he is with within the parameters of space time and objectivity wherever he is he is at one meant with the divine there is no way there is no possibility of him separating from the divine after this recognition after this discovery after this realization that the individual consciousness or the individual soul is the same as the infinite consciousness or the uh divine soul whichever way you i'm just using the words that's all and in this way the uh, uh, when, when this uh, when this stage or disposition is reached the the person why we are saying the person because people are still seeing him as a body people are seeing still seeing him as a uh, living organism a living person therefore we are saying the person but for that person there is uh the, the disposition of that person is that he does not uh, resist anything he does not run away from anything he does not uh, uh, crave anything or run towards anything see uh, so start, we must start practicing like that in our life <laughs> and such a person senses are automatically withdrawn and the uh, in the infinite consciousness there is no mind 
what is mind consciousness identified with a sense of otherness is mind with a oh put it on गुहां प्रवेश तिष्ठतम यो भूते भीर्व्यपश्यता यो भूते भीर्व्यपश्यता टुगेदर य पूर्व तपसो जात अद्य पूर्व जायत गुहां प्रवेश तिष्ठत यो भूते भीर्व्यपश्यता etadvaitata i'll just recap what i said before because the lights went away and uh, uh, i didn't put the recording on so what we were looking at was that the individual the one who recognizes the individual consciousness as the total or the infinite consciousness such a person thereafter does not want does not protect himself uh from anything because now he is at one meant with every one everything uh, without seeing the sense of difference or separation because when this at one meant that this individual consciousness or soul is the infinite consciousness or soul uh, this is uh, realized thereafter the there is no differences and he does not turn away from anything he does not move away from anything nor does he desire anything in this uh, in this creation because we said because from the total or infinite consciousness point of view there is no mind as we know the mind is mind comes into existence only where there are differences or duality or dualism from the totality point of view where everything is one where is the question of mind coming into existence don't get carried away by the movies where they show the total consciousness as bhagwan who is expressing that is a different th- uh, and we take that what he is talking to arjuna he is talking he is fighting all that uh, you contemplate here we are talking about atmatvena not object uh, not objectively we are looking at the self we are looking at it subjectively till you look at it objectively this question will keep pursuing you or you will keep pursuing this question but the moment you come be, be subjective and recognize this consciousness is the infinite consciousness that very moment all differences become null and void for other people you may still be there but for the person who is seeking the person who has realized for him all differences become null and void and where are the differences are they in the world no they are only in our mind so mind becomes null and void meaning what does it mean that mind becoming null and void mind stops having an impact on the consciousness that you are it's a, unable to influence it's unable to draw you in into duality now you have recognized everything is conscious the mind is consciousness bricks are consciousness uh, 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 conscious means the 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 satvastu everything is that brahman that atmic tatva uh, <coughs> and in this way uh, you are an indivisible being you are an indivisible being who is present everywhere you <laughs> see how just when you think of these words itself is so contemplative and thus <clears throat> what one is if we can call it an experience actually the scriptures say it's an experienceless experience it is called god experience and in this way uh, yeah, such a person uh, 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 such a person cannot experience this in the past or in the future it happens in the moment instantaneously whenever it when it happens it's happening even right now 
all you have to do is be available but whenever it happens become, that is you become be available to yourself it's instantaneous it's not a step by step process uh, there is no lag there is no delay and in this way the uh, that principle that the one who recognize it in this way that is that which you asked on achiket uh, अन्यत्र धर्मात अन्यत्र धर्मात अन्यत्र अस्मात कृता कृता दैट वन वॉट इज दैट ही हेड आस्ट लॉर्ड ऑफ डेथ एंड इन एवरी वर्स एज यू सी ए तद्वै तत डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एंगल्स ऑफ अप्रोच टू द सेम रियालिटी एज यमराज द लॉर्ड ऑफ डेथ द लॉर्ड ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डेथ ही इज प्रेजेंटिंग बिकॉज एवरी मोमेंट विजन इज चेंजिंग every moment we are not seeing the same thing and in this way uh, uh then it was told that uh bravi ya pratyag atmeshwara bhavena nirdishta sa sarvatmeti etad darshayati and uh, uh, the one who sees this pratyag atma uh, yeah here in this particular verse it has been uh, communicated from the ishwara bhav that he is the antaratma he is the inner soul he is the inner consciousness of everyone and uh, all and uh, uh, this is uh, told in this particular verse ya purvam tapasaha jatam adya purvam ajayata गुहां प्रवेश तिष्ठम यो भूतेश्यत एक दैट सीकर ऑफ ट्रूथ दैट मुमुक्षु दैट इज इन दिस वर्स दे आर टेलिंग दैट मुमुक्षु दैट सीकर ऑफ ट्रूथ हू हैज डन तपस्या विच तपस्या तपस्या ऑफ द हिरण्य गर्भ हिरण्य गर्भ इज वेर ऑल पॉसिबिलिटीज आर इन देयर नेसेंट फॉर्म दे हैव नॉट डिवाइडेड themselves into the subject and object mm, uh, uh, and who is this uh, uh, what is this hiranyagarbha who is before the pancha mahabhut uh, have come about before that stage before the division has taken place before the specificity has started manifesting itself specificity is the root and the shoot they have a shape but when they are inside the seed when the seed is ready to germinate life has started throbbing into it it bulges but you can't see the root nor the shoot there is no specificity available at that time here it says that यत पूर्व तपसा हो जातम अद्भ्य पूर्व जायत अद्भ्य यर जस्ट वन वर्ड वॉटर इज टेकन बट अंडरस्टैंड दैट बिफोर द फाइव ग्रेट एलिमेंट्स प्ले देयर रोल इन ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट स्पेसिफिसिटी गुहां प्रविश्य तिष्ठंतम बिफोर दैट दिस ईश्वरा दिस कॉन्शियसनेस अलोंग अलोंग विद द Uh, the the five elements goes and gets situated in the heart of the or in the cave of the heart which is the buddhi uh, and uh, and the one who sees this ishwara or the consciousness along with the five great elements located in the buddhi he alone sees brahman this is told here uh, guham pravishya tishtantam pravishya guham is the cave pravishya is enter uh, tishtantam is uh, situated located uh, sitting yo bhute bhute bhir vyapashyata he who sees it in this manner so what is our etadvaitata that is brahman certainly 
so what is being told to us what is what is the guidance here what is the meditation here what is our disposition that is required after reading this verse as we are going through each verse that as we are moving through this world instead of taking the outside world to be real instead of taking the outside positions and relations to be real instead of taking all individual personalities to be real in the previous verse what did we see that all the beings were nothing but the mind so here in the waking what are we being asked that all the all the beings the differences are on account of the five great elements what is the location of the five great elements the buddhi and where is the consciousness available it's not available in the outside world it's not available in the senses it's not available in the breath it's not available in the you cannot catch it when i say not available you cannot catch it there you can catch it only as i so where is it available in the buddhi so he who sees the entire we are coming back to the crux of the whole creation the so all the five elements because of which the nama roop is coming and the i the consciousness so where are they located in their nascent form unexpressed form they are in the buddhi that is their cave that is their the, the secret cave where they are they are they are situated see so in this way what will happen the consciousness also i am now you will say the five great elements i also i am <laughs> from but from consciousness point of view there are no five great elements they are phenomenal phenomena cannot touch the original the ornament cannot influence the gold the waves cannot influence the water water remains water gold remains gold similarly the consciousness ever remains as consciousness it cannot be influenced by the five the 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 uh, permutation combinations of the five great elements Now come to realize this the one who realizes it in this manner he alone knows that is that principle is uh, anyatra dharmat anyatra dharmat continuing <coughs> <coughs> see from our point of view when we use the word ishwara when we use the brahman when we use the word god when we use the word divinity pure consciousness infinite consciousness it's all meaning the same thing okay you don't get lost in terminologies विल रीड द भाष्यम यचि मुमुक्षु पूर्व प्रथम तपस ज्ञादीलक्षण ब्रह्मण उत्पन्न हिण्यगर्भम दैट मुमुक्षु दैट सीकर ऑफ ट्रुथ दैट डिजायर ऑफ रियलाइजेशन और ट्रुथ ऑफ लिबरेशन who has previously done the tapasya how, which tapasya gnanaadi lakshana by various uh, methodologies uh, he has come to recognize the hiranya garbha who which, which is not other than the brahman uh, uh, then it says what kim apeksha purvam iti ah अभ्य पूर्व अभी सहितेभ्य पंचभूतेभ्य न कवलाभ्य अभ्य अभिप्राय बहुत लंबा सेंटेंस है 
अभिप्राय ओके हाँ कॉमा इज देर यस अभिप्राय सो हियर इज इज दैट किमपेक्षा पूर्व आह इफ दैट हिरण्य गर्भ विच विच वॉज प्रीवियस टू द what is that we are look say how we have to think about it is we are contemplating on that principle who is beyond individual and which is beyond total the concept of total called hiranya garbha is given for the individual seeker from the absolute standpoint there is nothing called individual or total individual and total jeev jagat ishwar this triad or these differences are only valid for the individual person but for the infinite person the infinite consciousness the purushottama the ishwara for him this jeev jagat ishwar is not there he is one without a second and what is this and if we are taking the bhav of the totality what is that that is that that which is adbhya purvam api sahitebhya pancha bhutebhya na kevala abhya adbhya iti abhipraya which i have already explained that uh, uh, along with water the five great elements uh, 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 The, the the one who is before these five great elements uh, uh, uh and has come about that first born hmm, uh that kevala adbhya abhipraya that first then it says what ajayata utpanna yah tam prathamajam devadi sharirani utpadya sarva sarva प्राणी है सर्व प्राणी गुहां हृदयाकाशम प्रविश्य तिष्ठत शब्दादि अनुपलब्ध अनुपलभम भूते भी भूत कार्यकारण लक्षण लक्षण सह तिष्ठ यपश्यत यश्यती वी हैव कवर्ड दिस पॉइंट just now when i was explaining but let's look at it he says that uh, that which is born before the five great elements that prathamaja prathamaja the the first born what is the first born the hiranyagarbha another name from puranic point of view the first born is brahma ji so that is also uh, from the puranic point so that prathamaja that hiranyagarbha so that hiranya garbha out of whom then uh, uh, he becomes the cause and what becomes the effect devadi uh, here it says what devadi sharirani utpadya and from him came the various principles of operations uh, the the various gods the various forms of gods and and then what what is that and not only that and all the pranya pranis and what are the pranis not only the human but all the from uh, amoeba all the way to brahma ji that is what we are uh, one step before brahma ji uh, what are we saying here that uh, uh, sarva prani sarva prani you understand sarva is all prani is all beings having created out of himself then who created out of himself hiranyagarbha out of himself he created the entire uh, 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 all the beings we just look at put it that way all the beings then guham hrudaya kasham pravishya tishthantam then uh, and then he entered into the hrudaya kash in the space of the heart hrudaya the heart what is the heart the intellect 
Akasha is the space, the space of the intellect. Uh, and having entered into the Hridayakash, and that Hridayakash is called the cave of the heart. Uh, Ramana Maharishi also says, Hridayako Haramadhyay, in the cave of the heart. So same thing is here also. That in the cave, what is that cave? The the cave of the heart, cave of the heart, and having entered into the cave of the heart, uh, uh, and from there having experience and sitting there experiencing all the five elements and their modifications, which is all the various forms, name and forms, and also the seeing, hearing, whatever the stimuli of seeing, hearing, touching, feeling, tasting, thinking, etc. Uh, he keeps experiencing from there, uh, 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 meaning, now this is very important point, this is not a concept that we are giving you, we are, the teacher is saying here, the one who sees enters into the cave of the heart as the conscious principle and from there sees the names and forms and is merely witnessing the, the hearing, touching, feeling, tasting, thinking, ideating, the waking, dreaming, sleeping, samadhi, all this happening. The one who sees this, the one here the words used are uh, Guham Hridaya Kasham Pravishya Tishtandam Shabdadi Shabdadin Upalabhamanam Bhute Bihi Bhutehi Kare Karana Lakshanaihi and who sees the cause and effect. He is watching the cause and effect, but is not affected by the cause and effect. Sahatishtantam, he uh, sitting there, he look Yaha Vyapashyata Ya Pashyati Iti Etata. He who sees in this manner, he who recognizes himself to be that seer, that witness, who is observing all the changes but not getting affected by any changes, who is, oh, who is observing all the names and forms but is not being influenced by any name and form, who is observing the stimuli of seeing, hearing, touching, feeling, tasting, thinking, ideating but not getting influenced by them. That is that. This is that. Ya evam pashyati sa etad eva pashyati yat tat prakritam brahma. And the one who experiences it in this manner, he is truly seeing. And this is the, the prakrit brahma. Prakrit brahma means he sees the whole, our whole idea is what? Not only to recognize that I am Brahman, that I am the infinite consciousness, my goal, our just recognizing that is happening in Samadhi. But when you open the eyes, the world is there. We have to transform this world and see it also as Brahman, as Brahman, as the infinite consciousness. For that, a different rule of engagement is required. That different rule of engagement cannot be worked out in the outside world. You have to accept yourself as the eternal uh, one in whose presence the phenomena of the five elements is going on. And we have explained this before in the dream, when the example of the dream came. The mind alone is becoming, is the heart of every person in the dream. Mind alone is the material of every person in the dream. The mind alone is the past, present, future of every person in the dream. The mind alone is the five elements in the dream. The mind alone is the intellect of uh, every person in the dream from um, amoeba to the gods. This has to be, if this is understood that this is happening in the this is what has, is happening in the dream, then we have to take that data 
and apply it on ourselves here in the waking right here right now even while listening that we are that see how wonderful the mind just gets stunned with the magnanimity of the vision that is presented here nothing needs to be done just be available to what is being told by the upanishad the one who experiences the world in this manner alone is truly seeing the world meaning what he is experiencing the world as brahman he is brahman he is seeing the world as brahman but we try to use the uh, the parameters of individuality we use the parameters of individuality from the point of totality or infinity that is not going to work out you cannot use the parameters of being a daughter when you are functioning as a wife or you are functioning as a mother you have to change body remains the same but you have to change words have to change how you look at everything is it it's happening because you are convinced you are the mother you are the daughter you are the sister you are the wife be convinced by listening to the upanishad that you are the infinite consciousness that it is in you just like in dream this whole waking is playing itself rather than succumbing to the waking plane he did not do this for me that did not do this for me he did not give me the money back i have called them for dinner so many times and they never called me for the dinner how long will we keep do going into all this is our attention on the infinite consciousness or is our attention uh, yeah yeah it is very nice to listen to bhagavad uh, upanishad but straight away after upanishad we fall into the individuality parameters no maintain let the eyes see let the ears hear let the uh, skin feel let the mind think let the intellect ideate let the i come don't identify with anything that that knack we have to cultivate the more you keep thinking in this manner one day the knack will come one day you when you are learning to swim or cycle or ride a car suddenly one day everything clicks and it becomes like second nature to you and you can never forget that afterwards isn't it exactly it's exactly like that it is here but we have to apply ourselves again and again again and again again and again and it is i am saying again and again only because we are so hard nuts to crack <laughs> that's why i'm saying again and again that we are refusing to accept that we are the infinite one you think nachiket is going to go after go afterwards oh let me remember what yamaraj ji said oh let me remember what he said can you please repeat that can i come back again to the yam lok and have a replay of what you said i forgot what you said eta dvaita ta no so then all the qualities of nachiketa are required work towards them we saw it in the first chapter itself य एवं पश्यति स एतदेव पश्यति द वन हु सीज अलोन इज ट्रूली अलोन ट्रूली सीज य तत् प्रकृत ब्रह्म दिस इज द प्राकृत ब्रह्म प्रकृत मीन्स वॉट इज परसिव्ड दिस इज द परसिवेबल ब्रह्म दिस कॉस्मॉस इज ब्रह्मन
the whole cosmos where is the whole world that we see is existing in space where is the whole space in mental space who knows the mental space the conscious consciousness or the chidakash take that way of contemplation to see that the whole world is but remember one thing the <clears throat> names and forms the variety of the world if you say the whole world is in me now don't start looking for all the names and forms past present future in you no names and forms are phenomena space time and objectivity is a phenomena phenomena can never touch that which is the truth the phenomena of called the ornament can never touch the gold cannot influence the gold cannot entangle the gold cannot affect the gold so also the water cannot affect uh, wave cannot affect the water the tsunami cannot drown the water same way when we so take it with a pinch of salt when we say the whole world is nothing but consciousness now don't start looking for yourself everywhere inside also i am outside also i am everywhere i am this is a way of communicating just as you do not think that you are everywhere in the body a person who is knowing the truth or the self in this manner the consciousness in this manner he doesn't think that i am everywhere he just is other people experience that he is everywhere how beautiful so and so when we look at it from the cosmic point of view or the uh, uh, then etadvaitava this is that 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 you you were present even before the cosmic creation you were present even before the cosmic creation you were present even before the idea of creation came into existence see that i am or here yamraj is saying that you are see here our tapas is what our tapas is our tapas is what from oneness from manyness we want to move we are we want to recognize that we are the one you understand what is the tapas of the ishwara hmm. what is the tapas of ishwara we practice self control we practice uh, Uh, controlling our mind focusing our mind uh, 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 making it single pointed making it uh, purified why because i want to know uh, uh, but for him what is his tapas he is one without a second and then his tapas is that he is allowing the space time objectivity to come about he is allowing the the various gods to come about he is allowing the various five elements to come about he is allowing the come come about means to manifest to allowing all the beings to manifest and actually what is happening nothing is happening 
he has allowed everything to manifest without undergoing any change in himself and what do you how do we live i was sleeping i was dreaming now i am waking i we are susceptible to change so we are take we are taken a wrong position we have to take the right position that right position is the witness in consciousness with regards to the world change is happening but i am unaffected by the change uninfluenced by the change <coughs> and in this way hmm, excuse me so recognize it in this manner and uh <coughs> recognize what yat tat prakrutam brahma recognize this cosmic creation as none other than the brahman itself uh we'll move to the next verse kincha <laughs> kincha ya pranena sambhava ha या प्राणेन संभवती या प्राणेन संभवती अदितिर्देवतामयी अदितिर्देवतामयी गुहां प्रवेश्य तिष्ठन्तीं गुहां प्रवेश्य तिष्ठन्तीं या भूते भिर्व्यजायत या भूते भिर्व्यजायत एतद्वैतत टुगेदर या प्राणेन संभवती अदितिर्देवतामयी गुहां प्रवेश्य तिष्ठन्ती या भूते भिर्व्यजायत या प्राणेन संभवती अदितिर अदिति इज दी मदर ऑफ द देवताज देवतामयी गृहां प्रवि गुहां प्रवेश्य तिष्ठन्तीं या भूते भूते भिर्व्यजायत दिस सेकेंड लाइन इज द सेम एज द प्रीवियस वर्स वन सो दैट मदर ऑफ गॉड इज द अदिति शी इज बॉर्न बिफोर एंड so here how oh, what is it ah so that De- aditi who was born before the, the devatas and she alone uh, uh, entered into the, the 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 cave of the heart uh, of all, uh, of all the beings and uh, and what are all the beings that which were made out of the the various the five great elements certainly the, the, uh, that is that uh, reality and we will <clears throat> so this requires a little bit more of contemplation because now we are coming down the creation we are coming bhagwan is uh, the, the adi shankaracharya he is trying to show that every aspect of creation is uh, that one reality alone just as the vision 
very simply to understand the water has alone become all the total oceans and the individual waves gold alone has become entered into the heart of every ornament mud alone has entered into the heart of every pot the vision has entered into the heart of every name and form the the hearing ability has entered into every word that is being heard is in the heart of every word similarly the mind is the heart of every sense organ that you can see or that, that you are that you have without the mind the sense organs are not how do we say the sense organs are the effects of the cause called uh, the mind see so the material and efficient cause of all organs sense organs is the mind similarly the intellect or the i consciousness is the uh, is the heart of the mind itself okay life alone is expressing as the i that is in the heart of the i and the life cannot express without the uh, the the conscious principle just like this space another example this space alone is the heart of every house without the space you cannot have a house to live but is the inner how inner space and outer space separate exactly the same way here aditi the mother of gods mother of all beings she alone has entered into the cave entered the cave of the heart of all her children and what are her children name and form when you look at them name and form and where has the name and form come from from the five great elements but they are inert so what is making them what is giving them life the aditi we we'll look into this point further in our next class someone is trying to get in touch so contemplate on the previous verse where the whole world is present in the nascent form in the hiranyagarbha and that the, the, that hiranyagarbha uh, is the first born is the prathamaja uh, it is even before the division has taken place and that point is and when the manifestation happens out of it from it as it he enters into the cave of the heart of everything and being in the inert objects he enters the heart as sat in the living objects as sat and chit and in human beings in sat and chit and anand that is the way another way of looking at it and in this way from there from sitting in the cave of the heart that conscious infinite consciousness is looking at everything and this point of hiranyagarbha where is this point of hiranyagarbha is it somewhere above the clouds no is the point before you wake up and the multiplicity of the world begins is the point before you start dreaming or the dreaming ends 
वेर यू सडनली रियलाइज इट्स अ ड्रीम वही तरीके छोड़ दो सम हाउ सम वेयर वी आर गोइंग इन अवर एट अ रॉन्ग एंगल एंड एक्सेप्टिंग दिस वर्ल्ड एज रियल सो कैच दैट हिरण्य गर्भ पॉइंट द द सोर्स द पॉइंट वेयर मैनिफेस्टेशन इज अनमैनिफेस्ट इट हैज नॉट येट मैनिफेस्टेड बी दैट पॉइंट बी अवेलेबल टू योर टू दैट एंड वेर वेयर इज दैट पॉइंट यू आर दैट पॉइंट नॉट समवेयर यू आर दैट पॉइंट and out of you this whole manifestation of the world of the cosmos has come about taking that position again and again the one who takes that position again and again the one who knows this again and again he alone is seeing the world as it is as it is he is truly seeing this is that truth the that consciousness which is having this vision is that truth we'll conclude here for today om purnamada purnamidam purnaat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hi हरि ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ हरिओम